Everybody's wrong. Rewrote the song. Thoughts become action. Tell me what's happening. Wish your mind wrapped in or wrapped around. This video is sponsored by Wix.com. If you need to create a professional and simple looking website for free, then I would definitely recommend you go check out Wix. Using Wix, you don't need any experience in coding, developing or web design. You can simply create your own professional looking website either from scratch or you can choose from hundreds of templates which are completely editable. Everything is straightforward, so customising your website is just a matter of dragging and dropping everything into place, which is again, very easy to do. If you're a designer or any other sort of creative like myself, you can easily display your work by adding a gallery which is straightforward and easy to edit to your preference and you can also sort of create your own portfolio sort of layout. So if you want to create your own simple, clean, professional looking website for free, I'd definitely recommend you go to wix.com or you can click the link in the description. And thank you so much for listening and I hope you enjoy the rest of the tutorial. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add some subtle shadows to your lettering work. And as you can see, this just makes your work stand out a bit more than if it was just a flat colour on a flat background. So, as you can see at the top, we've got two examples. So, I'm this is just showing you how it can work on a light background and how it can work on a dark background. And some of the shadows you can swap around the lightness and darkness, but I'll explain that in a minute. So, I've actually made a couple of videos recently working on shadows for your lettering work and different kinds of shadows. So. This will probably be the last one of that kind of series sort of thing, but these are just basically things that you can add to your lettering work to make it stand out a bit more. So first we're going to work on the light version. So the background's light and the colour of the type itself is light. So once you have your lettering work in there, it can be a full word or it can just be a letter like this. So what you're going to do is select that layer. You're going to make sure you get it select to, selected over here. Hit Command C, Command F, or Control C, Control F if you're on PC. And then the bottom one here, you're going to click on that, and then holding Shift and using the arrow keys, you're just going to drop it down to the down and then to the left or right, whichever whichever side you want it to be on. And then what you're going to do is get the eyedropper tool, make it the same colour as the background, then double click the fill colour, and then all you're going to do is select a slightly darker shade. So, like that for example. So now as you can see, you've already got this sort of drop shadow kind of thing. And from here all you're going to do is again, duplicate this. So make sure you've got it selected, Command C, Command F. And then what you're going to do is the top one, you're going to again hold Shift, using the arrow keys, move this up and move to the right or left, depending on which way you want to have it. And this one's just going to stay the original colour. I'm just going to move it to the left actually. So this one's going to stay the original colour, and then the middle one over here is now either going to be a lighter or darker version of your main lettering colour, so keep it as this pinky red sort of colour. So what you can do from here is either make it brighter, so like this, and now as you can see you've got this subtle bright like highlight on the inside, or you could possibly have it darker, so you just make it the same colour. Or you could have it darker, like that. Which does give it a bit more of a shadowy kind of look. I mean, this having it having this lighter colour tends to work on the darker backgrounds a bit better. So, that's how you do it. And we'll just quickly do the darker version, just to show you how that works. So, again, duplicate this, Command C, Command F. Bring it down. Just make it the same colour as the background. And then make it a little bit darker for the shadow and make sure you drag that to the bottom since it's going to be at the bottom there we go and then again duplicate this command c command f top version move that one be about right and the middle version double click and make it a darker or lighter shade so it's a darker shade and that's a lighter shade so this was just one more tutorial giving you different methods of adding shadows to your work to make it stand out a bit more. Um, I really hope these have helped you out and if they have let me know what other kind of tutorials you'd want to see based on additional things that you can add to your lettering to make it stand out more. And thank you so much for watching.